All right, so the way my material is laid out, I had to cut three, piece, three pieces. So this here is 20, which is the width of my pillow, by 28, which is the length of my pillow. So this is the front piece. And then I took 28, the measurement 20 by 28, added six inches to it, then divided it, and cut two 20 by 17 pieces, which are these two. So this gives me five extra. Whew, I didn't really want to do it that way, but that's how I had to do it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to actually have enough material to do three pillows this way. My last pillow, I might have to be piecing some things together, but these are outside cushions. I don't really care if they if the back side looks a little funky but we'll get to that piece and I'll show you if I have to do something different with that so now what I'm going to do is and it's going to overlap something like this to make the pillow so I'm going to put a hem on this what I call a French hem so I'm going to iron this a half an inch in and then what I'm going to do is once it's ironed, I'm going to fold it to the ironed crease, fold it in, and then fold it like that, and sew it. This will just make it look nice and professional and keep it from unraveling. Okay, so this is a half inch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and fold it under to, to that crease and then fold it over again. And then I'm going to do the same over here unclip this I'm just going to tuck it under to that crease tuck it under fold it in and clip it Now you can see how it's going to stop it from fraying and give it a nice professional look. Once I sew it. All right, let me go grab the other one and do the same thing. And you can see this one has the um, manufacturer's finished edge on it. So I'm gonna use this edge to fold under so we won't see that when we have our pillow done. I'm gonna go down to this end. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is just sew a hemline right down here. Nice. 
nice right, and tight. So I'm going to sew it right on my pressure foot down. So right in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna take the next piece, put it right in the middle, press it foot down. I'm going to start in reverse to lock the stitch, and then forward. to lock it and forward. Pull the needle up as high as it'll go, press the foot up and cut. So I have a nice looks really nice. Here is my front piece. And here are my two side pieces, or back pieces. Here are my two back pieces, rather. This hem is the good, this hem here didn't turn out so well, so I'm gonna make sure that goes under. So I'm gonna put the two, make sure they're all right side up. The pattern's going the right way. And this is the one I want tucked under. So I'm gonna put this one here. I'm gonna line it up here in the corner. And Putting the two right sides of the fabric together and we'll just line them up and as you can see when I, I'm going to sew this all the way around and then this here is my envelope insert so I'm going to pin it or clip it Flip it all the way around, make sure it's all even, and then take it back to the sewing machine and sew it. So let's do that real quick. Okay, let's take it back to the sewing machine. Start with a back stitch. I always start, either go forward a few stitches and then back, or start with a back stitch. That way it locks that stitch in place. When you get to the corners, leave the needle down and Pick the presser foot up and turn it that way. And put the presser foot back down. Needle down, press the foot up and turn.
when I'm doing this. And I wouldn't worry about it if I wasn't going to be washing this material in the future. It is fraying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with a... I would go around with my pinking shears, but they're kind of dull. Let me see. I don't really want to zigzag all the way. I am going to cut the corners, though. I'm going to cut the corners, take that little excess off the corners without cutting the, cutting the stitch. That way, when I turn it inside out, see my pink and shears are dull. So I'm just going to take a zigzag stitch all the way around, and I won't film that. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so if you can see, I did a zigzag stitch all the way around. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that will keep it from fraying any further when I wash it. And I did it just inside the seam, obviously, all the way around. All the way around. All right, so I have a little crochet hook. I'm going to turn this inside out and I'm going to poke the corners out with a crochet hook. Bunch of corners out nice and tight so they look good. I'm excited. I hope this turns out well. A little bit of the manufacturer's hem right there, but that's fine. It's on the back. No, it's actually on the front side of the pillow on the side. Doesn't matter, these are gonna be outside anyway. I don't know better for the next one. Pop the little corners out. You can see the little envelope fold right there. So that's the back and that's the front. Let me go grab the pillow. So this is just a regular bed pillow I bought for $4 at Target. It's the perfect size. still say don't cut those off against federal regulation or something. It used to say it was illegal. No, it doesn't say it anymore. It used to say it was illegal to cut that tag off. I'm oh, just showing my age. to look awesome. Get it in the corners. Actually, I probably could have even run a little tighter with it. I was a little concerned that I won't, but I can actually take some stuffing maybe. 
and stuff it, but that looks really good. So I've got two more to make. And like I said, the third one, I don't think I'm gonna have enough material, so I'm probably gonna to have to piece a couple sections together in the back. But um, let me make those other two, and then we'll see how it looks on the couch. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how I had to do the third piece. So I had to piece a couple materials together. The 17, 20 by 17, um, I probably not quite made the whole 17. This is 15 and a half, which will work. But I had to take this piece and this piece and sew it together. And then I had two pieces that were this way because I want my pattern to keep going the same way. I pieced two pieces together like this. And I'm sure I got the 17 inches on that one. Let's measure it. Oh, I got 16 and a half after I did my little hem. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna fold this because all these are kind of coming together. Let me go ahead and here is my front piece, which is the 20 by 28. Let me scoot you back a little bit. And then let's put the two sides together. just so shy of, well, I would have still had to come over and pocket it. So I think that's gonna be all right. I'm gonna pin it all together and come back and show you, or pin it all together, sew it, put the cushion in it, and we'll see how it looks. It shouldn't look too bad. All right, so I have it sewn all together and I'm going to turn it inside out. Let's see how this last piece looks. Actually, that doesn't look too bad at all considering I pieced it here and I pieced it here. And this is so close to the seam. I don't even think you're really gonna pay attention to it. So. I really don't even think you can tell too much. This would be the back of the pillow. This is the front of the pillow. And then the back. So let's go ahead and get them out on the back couch and see how it looks. All right, so I say it looks pretty good. So three homemade pillows. Color goes really good with the existing cushions. All right, well, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will, what will we do, Sadie? See you on the next video.